hi guys welcome back today i'm gonna be showing you how to make a congolese fish makayabu it's a fish that's preserved in salt so it doesn't go bad so to get uh, rid of the excess salt you're just gonna soak it overnight and then thoroughly wash it that's what i did i think i might have over soaked because mine didn't have any salt left at all and then i just decided to cut it into bits and back to the over soaking you can see mine had started breaking because of that but don't worry it still tasted amazing so i tried to cut the pieces uniformly i think i tried and then i made a binder because they were way too soft i mixed some flour and a few of my favorite spices from the kitchen you don't want to go heavy so i went in with some herbs some ginger powder and some paprika and mix it all together it actually just it looks so pretty i love that color and then i just bind it on the fish look at how pretty that looks i mean okay <laughs> i just repeated that until i was done I then got started with my ingredients you want to go small okay you don't want to overdo it with your ingredients i'm just using onions tomatoes coriander and ginger nothing extreme nothing out of this world because again we want to feel the taste of the fish and there you have all my ingredients we have my onions we have my coriander stems and coriander leaves and ginger and some tomatoes they look so pretty put um, a pan on the cooker i'm using medium heat putting in a bit of oil making sure it touches every corner of the pan and frying the fish skin down skin down skin side down english is hard and look how pretty okay take a shot every time i say pretty in this video flip it after around three to five minutes and let it cook on the other side for around three to four minutes you don't want the fish to fully overcook use the baits too okay you don't want the fish to fully overcook because you're gonna cook it in the soup uh, in that same pan add in a bit of oil fry your onions and tomatoes and you just want to let them steam come back to them mash them off a bit and then let them sit again for a few minutes before going in with your coriander stems and then mix the reason why we're going with the stems early is because stems take a while to cook so add in your stem and your garlic a bit of water so everything can just cook together i transferred it to a bigger fire added in more water and a bit of salt and look at how pretty now it looks like the paste we want next you want to add in a mixture of flour and water it's gonna help thicken the soup later on let it cook to remove the floury taste add in your fish just like that i don't know i just love that part so much and turn them so the tomatoes can cut every single piece of them and then you want to add in some water while i'm moving them around so they don't stick to the pan and you're gonna cover it let it cook for around eight minutes come and check on it look at how pretty it's boiling oh my gosh look at how pretty that is uh, mix it around taste for salt and after that i needed some more salt in my fish again i oversoaked mine so all the salt was out and then reducing my fire and i'm just gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes on low heat you can be adding in water to your liking if you want it to be a bit runny rather than thick and the last few minutes just add your coriander in and that's literally it it was so amazing i had man with ugali and oh my gosh i'm still thinking and dreaming about this fish Around. 